you guys, it's Megan and I am here in the lovely town of Madison, Wisconsin. I'm here for work, I'm here for a conference that I'm presenting at. I'm presenting tomorrow, I am so nervous, oh my god. But today I kind of have like partially a free day, like I'm checking my email for work and I have a thing later on, like their um, welcome reception and stuff. But during the day, I will be able to just kind of explore this downtown area, and I'm really excited about it. So we are right on the water, which is really cool. So I just wanted to show you guys my hotel room really quickly. So I slept here last night, so it doesn't look pristine, but we are at the Hilton in Madison Monona Terrace and it's pretty freaking bright outside so I'll try not to completely blind you but it is a gorgeous view and it's about 10:30 central time and wow it's just so pretty out here and I believe this is the convention center where my conference is being held so yeah, king size bed, always appreciate that. The biggest TV I've ever seen in my life. More windows over here, we're like on a corner. I was just researching some lunch slash breakfasty type places. And this room has like a bunch of nice like full length mirrors. So I have like my fall layers going on. And then we have the closet and I don't normally hang up all my clothes, but I want to look like really nice. So I have all my clothes and then my various shoe options. I didn't clean up the bathroom before I took you guys on this tour, but we have a nice big mirror. And then the shower is really nice. It's like one of those clear showers with like a nice big shower head. So this is a pretty sweet addition. But like I said, today I'm just going to kind of explore. I got in last night and I had a really smooth travel day. I met a really nice lady on my second flight. I had two flights yesterday. Um, but she is living in Madison, but she's from Pennsylvania or like New Jersey area. So it was just so cool to be like, oh my gosh, we have this in common. And then she gave me um, some recommendations on stuff to do. Like I said, I don't have much free time while I'm here, so I'm going to try to do a few things this morning, but I realize that I also want to try to find like a clothing store or something, because the outfit I picked for my presentation tomorrow, I feel like I need like a little jacket or something to go with it, and all the jackets I brought are more like this, like a motorcycle, like outdoor jacket, not a like, indoor jacket like I wear this indoors too but you know what I mean so I'm gonna try to find a clothing store after I go to breakfast and I wanted to let you guys know I did go to a delicious place for dinner last night it's called deluxe and everything's kind of in the same area here in the downtown it's like all by their capitol building which is really cool it looks very similar to like um the capitol building in washington dc and i'll show you guys that when i get out there but i've been up since i don't know i woke up at like 5 a.m but i was like i am not waking up at 5 a.m um because we're an hour behind eastern time so like right now it's like 10 something but it feels like 11 something to me um so i think i woke up around like 8 because i let myself sleep in today knowing that tomorrow and the next day i'll have to wake up pretty early so that is kind of the situation and i practiced my presentation this morning i felt like it went really well so yeah, I hope that <laughs> I can pull it off in front of the crowd like I can by myself in my hotel room. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys what I brought in terms of makeup and skincare on my trip. And I got this awesome like Louis Vuitton-esque makeup bag from Amazon. It's like hard sided, but then the top is like cushioned and it is like the coolest thing ever because you can put your brushes up here and then these little like dividers can be removed so you can like organize it exactly how it fits the products that you're bringing. So 
over here in this top um, left compartment, I put my skincare. So I brought the Drunk Elephant Bestie Number no. 9 Jelly Cleanser, the Saturday Skin rub -a dub This is like a physical exfoliant, a gentle one. The Polish Choice Nightly Reconditioner, Reconditioning Moisturizer. I used this last night, the um, Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I love those little packets. The It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cleanser. This is amazing for the cooler months, so it's definitely fall like here in Wisconsin. And then I brought a tiny size of the Olay Henriksen Truth Serum. This is a vitamin C serum I like in the daytime. The Garnier Micellar Water to remove my makeup. And then for daytime, the um, First Aid Beauty Coconut Water Cream. And then over here I have a little overflow, the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. I love this stuff, especially for nighttime, but it's also good daytime. For lip balm, I had to bring up my little Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I love this tiny size. and. It just feels so comforting on the lips and kind of makes me feel like I'm home and <laughs> I'm not actually traveling. I brought my Burt's Bees lip balm, of course. And then right now I have on these fake nails. So I brought like the rest of the box, the Impress Gold Digger style. But as I mentioned to you guys, they like reuse the names of the style. So if you look up Gold Digger, it's not this, but I found them on Amazon, so I'll link that below. These are super cool and they've been lasting so well. I've had them on for, I would say five days at this point. Then I have some longer products. I have like lip um, liners from Charlotte Tilbury. I have Iconic Nude and Pillow Talk. And then I brought this Julep eyeliner in, let's see, Gilded Gold Shimmer. I saw that Target is now carrying Julep on their website, which is kind of cool. I brought a little Laura Mercier caviar stick in Au Naturel. My Milani eye primer, of course, it's a must have. Another lip liner I brought is the ColourPop um, Boys Town. This is like a mauve, it's really pretty. The remainder of my Lancome art liner, I just thought I would bring this to like fully, fully use it up. And I know this is not gonna smudge on me, which I'm kind of nervous about um, looking like a crazy person. I brought a little spoolie, tweezers, of course. And then the only perfume I brought is the Prada Candy Leo, and that's just like a light scent. Then I have like the majority of my makeup. So I brought Q-tips. I love this little holder case because then you can just refill like with whatever Q-tips you have. So I would recommend buying something like that. I brought my Chanel Illusion Dombre in New Moon. I have not used this as much as I need to and it's definitely getting more dry. The Patrick Star um, Glam AF palette. I love this palette. It's so nice for traveling as well. I brought my new Tom Ford um, Nude Dip. Oh my god, it is just glorious. And then my all matte eyeshadow palette. Most of these are MAC colors. Then I have my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. The Eyelore Brow Magicians. This has a um, eyebrow pencil and then this side is a brow gel. It's really cool. Um, well, all in one product. YSL Touche Clot in number one that I'm trying to use up. I brought the Clinique Moisture Surge Spray if my skin needs like a little extra hydration. For um, SPF, I brought the Color Science Sun Forgettable SPF 50. This is really, really a wonderful sunscreen for all year, but it is a little moisturizing as well. So now that we're going into like faller, cooler temperatures, I think this is especially perfect. The only foundation I brought is my Estee Lauder Double Wear. Um, like I mentioned to you guys, I am presenting during this trip, so I just want to have the makeup on that I know will look nice and I know a camera will be on me and stuff, so this is a really good one. 
Also, my beloved NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I brought the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Powder that I'm trying to use up. This is really nice. I've been pleasantly surprised to rediscover how much I like that. But I also brought the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder that is just amazing. And then finally, I brought my tried and true NARS. Let's see if I can open this with one hand and fake nails. No, I can't. Oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. This is the Wanted One from NARS and I swear none of their face palettes will ever be as beloved to me. I just think it has every color and a beautiful highlighter that I could ever want. So, love that. And then I brought just a bunch of tried and true brushes. Nothing out of the ordinary. I love this little secret, not secret, but it's like this little compartment that perfectly fits sheet masks you guys oh my god so i brought my um too cool for school egg cream mask if my skin feels like it needs more moisture and then the reset button which i always bring with me everywhere just in case my skin starts freaking out and i also brought the um original glow sheet mask from peach and lily and i used that last night so i just think that is really awesome i just started watching the bodyguard on netflix so this was a recommendation by by one of you guys. Thank you so much. I am just absolutely loving it. I mean, I'm only on the second episode, but it's really good. It's like the perfect fall weather today. We're gonna have really great weather while I'm here. And this is the place I'm going to go for breakfast. Can't wait. You can see the Capitol building right in front of me. Oh my God, it is a gorgeous morning. Clear blue skies. And I'm only a four minute walk from my destination. Look how amazing this Eggs Benedict looks. Oh my God. And I got this drink called the Pumpkin Chai Zombie or something like that. It's so good. Look how nice they made the pumpkin cream cold brew. Oh my God. I am sweating you guys. I've been walking around for like an hour. I went to Francesca's on the University of Wisconsin campus, but now I am ready to go back to the hotel and just relax for a while. Now this is service, you guys. I asked the front desk if there were microwaves that like I could come downstairs and microwave my delicious leftovers from last night and they brought me a microwave to my room. Like <laughs> That's so insane to me. I've never had service like that. It was like within a few minutes of me asking, they sent it up like, damn. And I'm so excited to eat my cheese curds and this burger I got last night at Deluxe. I'm going to read Crazy Rich Asians until I have my practice session of my presentation for tomorrow. I'm about halfway done, I would say, and I love it! So my presentation practiced went really well. <sighs> now I know what to expect for tomorrow morning. So I am off to do the evening dinner tonight, and I really liked my outfit. I wanted to show you guys. Let me show you actually in the mirror but I got this jacket at Marshalls a while ago, and then this is like a long sleeve um, dress from uh, Leaf at Nordstrom, and I love the plum color, and then I'm just wearing Zillow leggings and my favorite black booties from Lucky Brand, and yeah, I'm still carrying this purse, so I have like a whole ensemble, and I hope I'm not overdressed, but this is what I was going to wear anyway. Everyone else seemed really casual, so maybe people are dressing up for tonight. I don't know, but I am going to be a little fashionably late because I'm traveling by myself, so I feel like, I don't know, I'd rather just like get in there and like try to like mingle after, I don't know, I just feel awkward. So yeah, I'm going now, but... Yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm on the bus all by myself. <laughs> Never fails, does it? Oh my god. <laughs> I feel so unbelievably awkward. Oh my god. It's the day of the competition of my presentation. Did I mention it's a competition? It's a competition. Um, this is my outfits. Oh, I have my silver power loafers on. <laughs> And I love the color of this um, little duster jacket I got. I got it yesterday and the necklace actually 
at Francesca's um, on the University of Wisconsin campus. <sighs> oh my gosh. I want to leave in like 15 minutes, so I'm going to run through my presentation again. And my presentation's not for another few hours, so <laughs> I just want to get it over with. Um, but yeah, I'm as prepared as I could be, and I honestly feel really good about it after doing our logistical run through and just like knowing how much I like know my presentation and feel confident about this topic. The only like scary part is there's like a question and answer at the end where we don't know what questions will get asked. So hopefully people go easy on me <laughs> and give me questions I can answer. <sighs> yeah, oh my God, my hair is wet. I never dry my hair. Um, like with a hair dryer because it always gets messed up. So I'm just going to kind of do this. Oh my gosh, you can see me in this mirror as well. I've been practicing my presentation in that mirror. It's like a nice mirror. You can see like the whole <laughs> like room. So I've been practicing like panning the audience. Oh my God. I just can't wait to get this thing over with you guys. And obviously I'll let you know if I win. I hope I win, but I don't know. We will find out tonight. My mom is so adorable. She sent me links to like some of our favorite K-pop songs to hype me up. So 17 Hit, BTS Mic Drop, and BTS Fire. Oh my god, I love them so much. Okay, you guys. I'm going now to find out if I won. I really hope I did. <laughs> I don't know it's I'm pretty sure it's between me and one other guy so it went really well I feel really really proud that I did this and no matter what happens like nothing changes that I did it and it would just make it even better to win so <laughs> we will find out and if I didn't win I'll probably take this out but hopefully I have good news when I see you next I didn't win the competition, but I got second place, which is pretty damn good. And I won an Amazon gift card at the after like event, which was like a casino, but not with real money, but you could win prizes. So I won an Amazon gift card. So it's just pretty cool. I won a plaque, but they have to like engrave it with our names. So I can't wait to take that back to work and show it off and everything. So today was just really fun. And I met a lot of amazing people. And so it's just been a really, really fun night. But I have to pack because tomorrow I have to check out, um, oh God, I really don't want to have to worry about that right now. But I'm gonna have to pack everything up so then I can check out before I go to the conference in the morning. And I just remembered I'm supposed to meet, to have a meeting with someone at like 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is going to not be fun, but at least I don't have to worry about anything because I'm not like presenting. So I can just like kind of be there and like experience it and learn, but not like be presenting. So it's just a whole different experience. So I need to pack. I am so hot and sweaty, but what else is new? Hey you guys, I'm home now. I should have wrapped up this vlog in Wisconsin, but now I am home and I'm going to a dentist appointment. How lucky am I? It's like super, super nice today. I don't know how we got so lucky, but this is the weather like it was in Wisconsin. It's like 70, low 70s. I was wearing like so much warm clothes when I left my house because I thought it would be really cold because it was this morning but it's like absolute perfection and so I'm going to my dentist appointment which I'm definitely gonna fail because I haven't been flossing I didn't get as scolded as I thought that I would about not flossing I thought that it would be like the worst thing in the world but I really do need to floss more but I want to show you guys my eyeshadow I am wearing I had like a crazy makeup day but um it's mostly a Sydney Grace eyeshadow I think it's 
god there's so many different ones but this is more like a silvery tone and then I'm just wearing like sweats which is like a really funny combo but I think probably within the next year I'm gonna have to do um, Invisalign my teeth are really really relapsing and I've been putting it off and putting it off because it's really expensive um, but uh, the longer I wait the worse it'll be so if any of you guys have done Invisalign let me know how that went for you I had braces when I was younger but then I didn't wear a retainer so my teeth got all fucked up so yeah I'm gonna have to do it but I don't want to pay like five thousand dollars or whatever over the course of a few years to do it so or a year I don't know how long it takes but anyway I am going to go run a few errands I might get my car washed actually because this wrapped up a little bit sooner than I thought so let's go on an adventure oh my god this shit's intense to receive the discount on a future wash purchase press yes see your receipt for full details you are now ready to enter the car wash. Please proceed by following the directions on the sign. Okay, let's do this. Starbucks happy hour time. I'm gonna get two drinks that I haven't got that I haven't got before. So Let's try this. He's like dumped the whole drink. Oh no! Oh my god. I feel really bad for those baristas. They like dropped. I don't know if it was my drink or some like whole drink. Oh my god, I feel really bad. But I got the nitro um, salted cream cold foam, which I've never had the salted one, but it comes with caramel syrup. And I saw on, I think the Starbucks Reddit page, someone did two pumps of caramel and two pumps of pumpkin and said it was like amazing. So I doubt it's really all mixed together, but let's try it. That is delightful. Mmm. It's not super sweet, which I like, but it's like a little bit sweeter than the normal nitro. But like the cold foam isn't like salty. I was worried it would be like actually salty, but it just tastes really good. Mmm, yummy. Oh, it's probably because these lids are like falling off. I will have to be careful with that. Mmm, yeah, the cold foam is like kind of tastes like toffee nut and then for tomorrow I'll, I'm gonna take a sip now but I got the salted caramel mocha hot which I haven't had yet this year but with only two pumps of mocha and then toffee nut so I hope it's not too hot but I want to try it right now it's fucking hot but that's much better than getting four pumps of each normally this has four pumps of both which is like honestly just so ridiculous and gross so I'm gonna drink this one now and then save the salted caramel mocha for tomorrow I look like a raver because I have all this glitter like all over my face my face feels like really like congested and weird so I'm not feeling my best this lighting seems really weird um I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. This video has been really all over the place and crazy enough, so I don't know if this lighting is as whack as it looks in the viewfinder, but I thought what better time to wrap it up than when I look like a psycho. Um, <laughs> and I just downloaded TikTok, which I've been curious about, but I've been trying to avoid it because it seems like just a scary place but i'm saying that it's for work research because we might start advertising on tiktok so i have to figure it out so if you have any tiktok tips or know about it let me know it seems like i can't like i don't know how to find anything it's just kind of like a discover page and stuff so yeah but i'm going to go because i feel really weird and not very great so thanks so much for watching if you made it this far be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe i'll see you guys really soon bye okay this is even creepier lighting what is happening <laughs>